Hello and welcome back everyone to Devil May Cry 3 on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries and this is the end of the carrot. But first we have to deal with another execution. Lady, how did you make it this far without a gun? <laughs> well, uh, canonically Dante and Virgil have killed all the demons in Temenic Gru, so... That is Plus, Lady's got been, uh, Lady effectively has the same uh, the same agility as Dante. Not as Virgil, no. Uh, Virgil's way more uh, athletic than Lady is, but... Huh. And she, she still has her handguns. Well, I mean, of course, Alec Trevelyan's going to be still alive before the Goldeneye satellite drops on him because of James Bond's cunning and expert oh, secret agent work. I've never played the story of Goldeneye. But did you see the movie? No, I did not see the movie either. If you've ever seen a compilation of Sean Bean getting killed in all of the media where he does get killed, that is one stopover. What a surprise. Here I was looking for you, and lo and behold... See? She still has a handgun. Come to me. And plenty of ammo. Don't ever again. My mother was the only one who could say my name. Wait. Please. Do you really want to shoot me? Yes. Yeah. Can you shoot me? You're not my father anymore. Yes, I can. What have I done wrong? You summoned Temin and grew, you dickhead. Father sacrificed a woman so that he could become a legend. I wish to be a god. And I sacrificed one miserable human being for that reason. That is all. You attacked me. You set you set up a very you set up a very complicated revenge uh, revenge and power fantasy. And you summoned Temin Negru. These are all negative things that you've done, Arkham. Help me, Mary. And together we will rule the galaxy as father and son. Daughter. <laughs> Huh. She she shot him four times because in Japanese yeah. four is the number for death. That means he's definitely Thank dead. Thank you. I I uh I didn't real I didn't remember that because uh, I specifically because she attempts to shoot him eight times. <laughs> and now lady has gone completely insane realizing that Mary is finally dead, and now she is another person entirely. <laughs> yes, patricide can be quite a push towards the edge of oblivion, is it not? Ah, poor lady. Anyway, I, we have another uh, God damn it, well, I, I missed the 20. We have another fight to do yet. I missed the goddamn 20. It was in there somewhere. <laughs> it was. It was. I think it's technically in the cloud shell as we're panning up, but... Give that to me. No, no. You, you give yours to me. You got your own. Well, I want yours to you. What are you going to do with all I want to apologize for the uh, the uh, double the double uh, images that we end up in this. It's not supposed to be this blurry, but uh, yeah. Well, that's the my emulation is imperfect. I I don't think that's your emulation doing that. I think that's the game doing that. We are the sons of Sparta. Within each of us flows his blood. But more importantly, his soul. Anime. This saying it wants to stop you. Laughs the villain. Unfortunately, our souls are at odds, brother. I need power. And we're supposed to be twins. Twins. So yes, for for Virgil 3, Virgil is going to spend a good portion of the time using Sparta. Um, 
That said, he still actually uses Yam he uses the combination of Yamato and Sparta throughout the entirety of the fight, and um, a lot of you that were hope a lot of you that may have been hoping for me to actually uh, to show off how difficult this fight can be even on normal mode will probably be really disappointed because although I although I take a lot of damage in this fight, it's uh, not honestly all that difficult for me simply because I'm very well practiced with this fight. Well, Gurdat, you have taught us a valuable lesson in this Devil May Cry playthrough is if you want to beat the game, all you have to do is just beat the game first. Uh, I, I, again, I would actually have this amount of health. Uh, I would almost have this amount of health and uh, and uh, uh, Devil Tri and uh, Purple Orbs um, on, a nor on a normal playthrough. I'd probably be minus, minus one of each, but... Uh, I, uh, I'm not really using all that many uh, steroids from New Game uh, New Game Plus for this, aside from level three uh, Trickster. Yeah. And even then, that's not honestly a New Game Plus steroid. Normal, you can get level three Trickster by about mission uh, eleven or twelve, uh, go, uh, going through the game normally. You just have to kill everything for it. To think that, and to think also that Agni and Rudra have been basically our our bread and butter this entire time. Uh, yeah, but you get Agni and Rudra really early on, so. Oh yeah, you get it. yeah, and you get and you start with the Sock Weaver in Bloodborne. Um, and let me say also that it is refreshing that yes, you are right because it's finally caught up to us in our new game plus playthrough that we haven't been making character upgrades this whole time. So now we are about as powerful as we would be at the end of the game, as it seems. Yeah. Funny how that happens. Uh, my big, the big uh, thing that you have to worry about in this fight is the fact that Virgil gets access to Devil Trigger way more than you do. And as such, although the fight uh, is lengthy, it's mostly lengthy by the fact that he uh, can uh, can effectively heal off a, bu a bunch of the damage that you do, uh, regar uh, regardless of how you do it. Yeah, I mean, this guy is no Lord Gwendolyn. Like, I, th I think I would have an easier time taking this guy out, and you know, on the on the pantheon of among the pantheon of final bosses. Die. Die. And this is and this is Virgil's new mode, uh, new mode for uh, for this fight, the Super Devil Trigger. Super and Devil yes, Trigger. that is actually what it is called. Um, what he gets what he gets <laughs> access to while uh, while under Super Devil Trigger is he gets the ability to uh, to teleport spam a Helmbreaker with Sparta. Um, if you get hit by one of those, he is going to continuously hit you with the rest of them, and they hurt a lot. But if you manage, but if you manage to be Either on the ground or uh, just slightly in the air, you can you can use Trickster to uh, to dodge out of the way from them, uh, relatively simply. The big thing that everyone hates about this fight is the fact that Virgil is spamming Purple Cut uh, through a majority of the fight, and I will grant yeah, that Purple Cut specifically. Dead. This is uh, this is Super Judgment Cut, and um, you can't. And, and as I showed off, you can in fact dodge the entire thing. If you are uh, bothering to stay mobile, yes. And yes, Virgil says Dante as his killing word. Dante. Am I being defeated? What's wrong? Is that all you got? Come on, get up. You can do And we both get full health bars for the final stage. Nope. That is the end of the game. Okay. Well done, everybody. That was sick. Who taught you that shit? Yeah, it must be the super Let's devil juice that dad got me. Super devil juice? Give me that, little girl. Even if that means killing you. Anime. <laughs> The Clash of Brothers. <laughs> so anime. <laughs> and then the top half of Virgil's body comes loose. No, we didn't cut him in half. We gave him a pretty significant wound, but we did not cut him in half. Yeah, uh, you drop, you drop this. Uh, excuse me, Minister, you you drop this. No one can have this, Dante. It's mine. It belongs, it belongs to, a to a son of Sparta. Of Sparta. 
Wait, Virgil, don't go off the cliff. If you don't want to be trapped in the demon world, I'm staying in this place. Dante, if you ever want to enjoy a slice of pizza again, you will leave this place for all eternity. Goodbye, yeah, brother. they don't serve pizza in hell for some reason. And so Virgil falls down, no, never to be seen again until Devil May Cry 1. <laughs> I, the only Devil May Cry game that Virgil is not in is Devil May Cry 2. And even there, he's tech, uh, even there, I think he's supposed to be Ignis, but he probably is not actually Ignis. I mean, do we kill Ignis? We do kill Ignis. Okay, so he's probably not Ignis. Yeah, he's probably not Ignis, but Ignis takes a lot of... Uh, egg, um, uh, the fuck the king the king of nothingness in a Devil May Cry Five. I forget what the fuck his name is. He takes a lot of design cues from Ignis. So. <laughs> what an ordeal! Hey, a castle of ordeals? Haha. <laughs> I need that back. No late charges, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, How's, uh, that's funny. That's so funny. I was about to make a joke about returning a rental, and then Dante does it for me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I love this game's sense of humor. It's it's made it's made me chuckle quite a bit throughout this entire now. playthrough. It's a, it's a beautiful I'm thing, sure really. Yeah. Honestly, I love this game in general simply because the game the gameplay is inc uh, is uh, in incredibly easy. Uh, it's incredibly easy to pick up. It's a bit difficult to uh, to get coming? everything locked down that you want to do. But it's only the rain. Uh, it feels really nice to uh, to show no, off no, uh, smoke and sexy style with Dante. The devils never cry. The devils may cry, Dante. I see. They may cry. Wait, she's gonna say it. Maybe somewhere out there, even a devil may cry when he loses a loved one. She said the thing. Title drop. Think? We played this entire game for just that. A title drop. <laughs> Well, actually, it's the name of Dante's shop, and he Either stole way. it from her. Bang, bang, bang. We got some unfinished business to take care of. It looks like we're gonna be busy for a while. So I kind of lied. There is one more gameplay section. Well, bring it on. Was this the credits? Yep, we get to fight over the credit sequence. This is what I live for. Um, well, I mean, later games would have you fight the credit sequence itself, but this will do. Crazy, crazy about, about it. it. All right, so here we go. Um, to, to be perfectly honest, this uh, this fighting over the credits is actually really simple, simply because I think they knock you down to easy mode for it. So our weapon damage is slightly higher than it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's even a kill count. Nice. Yes, uh, your goal here is to kill exact uh, to kill 100 or more enemies during this credit sequence in order to get a specific uh, ending uh, ending picture reward. <laughs> I think doing so also unlocks the additional uh, the additional secret uh, the additional secret ending. But uh, the additional secret ending is uh, is mostly filler, to be perfectly honest. Well, any amount of con any amount of content is a good amount, I find that they would. They, they just they just keep rolling out the surprises. I, I definitely wasn't expecting a beat 'em up sequence for this. Kind of thing is this is probably this is probably the first game we played that actually has like a beat 'em up sequence over the credits. Yeah, Streets of Rage 4 didn't have it, did it? Um, well, if if we played no, Streets of Rage 4 didn't have it. Um, if we played it in near Automata enough, we would have had it. I, I don't even think I've ever beaten that mode all the way to the end. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros. Melee also is a game that lets you fight the credits Ow. in a Does Melee, uh, have you actually fight the credits? I thought you would do, I thought you did the shooter sequence. It is a shooter sequence. It's a, it's a rail, rail shooter fighting. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Melee is just a rail shooter. Um, Ultimate is, uh, the top-down shooter. Did 64 do a credits uh, fight? Um... No, it just let you scroll in either normal speed or fast speed. Okay. And I, uh, Brawl's got uh, Brawl's got a credits game too, but I forget what it is. Well, you've got to do something to get players to read the goddamn credits. 
but we're not reading the credits here. We're, no, we're just, you know, attempt, we're attempting to kill the Asins as fast as we can. Yeah, everybody. I, I still think, like, I mean, uh, De I hope Modern Devil May Cry might just, you know, ba basically, like, the, the scythe would be floating in midair as though it was being held. But instead of it being a demon holding it, it's uh, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn or Alpha Stunts done by Tatsuro Koike. Like, the, just the na labels. We're, we're being attacked by name tags and titles. <laughs> uh, for the record, Devil May Cry 5 also has a credits, a credits fight. Uh, and that's got the same conditions as this one. You need to kill 100 demons with the oh, Dante and Virgil. Shit. And we're running out of the uh, secret ending. If they're showing the Dolby, that means we're almost at the end. We got maybe like we got maybe like like 20 seconds. Ah, uh, this part of the song. No, I'm pretty sure we got 60 seconds left. Oh so. my god! Oh, this guy is getting right down to the wire here. It's okay. We've we've got Kalina and we've got Kalina and Yagi and Ruzo. We have uh, we have uh, we've got enough uh, damage uh, damage for this. So ah crap! Oh what mini boss? Oh crap! That's yes. a mini boss. Your enemy number one hundred. It can't be. Your enemy and number one hundred. Damn it! It's all right. We don't have a visible health bar, leaving me believe we can't actually die during this. Fight. Yeah, we can't actually die, but we but we need to be pouring on as much damage as we can. Well, you can't you can't hit if you are being hit. Guys, right. no Capcom, get out of here. Get give me the kill. Got it. Jesus Christ! You killed over a hundred demons. Ha ha! Woohoo! What what did I win? The now, not this ending, but the ending after it Nothing is what we really. want. We took care of all the remaining devils, and that was it. Hey, Devil May Cry One coat. Do I don't like the Devil May Cry One coat, honestly. It's a bit too dark. I need to ensure that monsters like my father never come about again. And he promised to help me hunt down the demons, even though he's part one himself. It is my job, after all. But now I realize that there are humans as evil as any devil. As well as Wait, what are you doing? Hunting monsters. I found one so -called devil who was able to shed tears you know, we've not actually watched the Devil May Cry anime together. <laughs> That's enough for me to believe in him. Well, that was actually Geralt from The Witcher 2. Ah. Or is it the... I think, actually, no, it was It was The Witcher 3. That was a... Oh, speaking of a kind devil, he finally decided on a name for his shop. It took him quite a while to pick one. Oh, Devil May Cry. Want to know the name? Devil May Cry. Yeah. They said the thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Together. Okay, so that one. So and now our is, secret ending. This is the secret ending. Oh, you thought that Arkham was dead, did you? No, he's. He's, he's no, Arkham's far dead. From dead. He got shot four times in the fucking head, but Virgil's fine. Maybe he's going to find a way back out. And he will take Hyrule once and for all. Hey, Mundus. We broke no compact with It'll Mundus. The Prince of Darkness. If my father did it, I should be able to do it too. And immediately after this scene, Virgil loses to Mundus and becomes Neo Angelo for Devil May Cry 1. Nah. Oh, so it's a, so it's a, uh, what do you call it? A sequel bait. It's a, it's a sequel bait. Technically. Woot, we got S-Rank on the final mission of the game. Well, <laughs> I mean, it was just one fucking boss. I hope that you can get S-Rank on the one fucking boss. <laughs> I mean, but it's a difficult boss, Mr. Cloud. Well... This has been an absolute joy. This game is a classic, and we hope you guys have enjoyed our playthrough of it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I enjoy the fuck out of Devil May Cry 3. And next time, uh, we'll be playing something completely different. Be safe, everybody.